Hey everyone, welcome to 4029 Goodland Avenue in Studio City, California. I'm so excited to show you this brand new modern build. Check it out behind me. It's a five bedroom, seven bathroom house with a square footage of 5,183. It's currently listed at 3,995,000. Thank you so much to the listing agent, Carmel Kiesler, for letting us take a look. I cannot wait to see the inside. Let's get started. Okay, just to get started, look at the size of this door. I look tiny in comparison. <laughs> and I think if I'm correct, this is a pivot door. Nice. Look how beautiful that is. And it does, it just stays right in place like that if you want, and you can let your guests right in. All right, come on in. Let's close this door and get things started inside. Wow, I love this door. I wish I had a door like this at home. Let's check out this first room. So this is, wow, I love these glass doors. It makes it feel so extravagant walking in here. So this is staged as an office, could also be a bedroom. Um, great size, I love these front windows if you wanna take a look at those. Come on over, here's an ensuite bathroom. Really nicely done. I love kind of the neutral gray tones in here. And then, oh, there's an exterior door right here. So if you have people over by the pool and they need to use the restroom, this is great access and easy to get to. Let's see, oh, and there's also a closet in here. And I think the lights in here are automatic. Oh, yep, didn't touch a thing. The lights turned right on. Built-in closet space all ready to go, which is always awesome to have. Let's see the rest of the house. Oh wow, look at the chandelier in the entrance. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I'm so excited to check out this living space. Wow, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's start with the fireplace, if you wanna come over. This is really cool. This is an electric fireplace. So right now it's on, but it's actually not giving off heat. If you wanted to turn it on and put on the heat, you could, which is really cool. Um, I haven't really seen anything like that before in a house. So really nice, really sleek, beautifully done. Nice big open floor plan over here. You really could do whatever you wanted with this space. They put kind of a living room feel over here and the dining room feel over here. This is gorgeous. I love the way they staged it. It feels really modern, really sleek, and honestly just so beautiful and spacious. A really beautiful display case here, tons of space, wine fridge, and uh, an area to put drinks. So this is that matching chandelier that matches the front. A little bit of a different shape, but still has that same theme. Um, and I love this kitchen. The black marble, oversized center island with this drop down breakfast bar is super cool. I've never seen anything like this before. I love the black and wood. It makes it feel very sleek and clean, but also homey and, you know, kind of more down to earth. This looks like, yeah, the fridge and the freezer. Look at these, huge. Tons of space and it blends right in, which always keeps a kitchen looking nice and clean. Two ovens over here, Wolf ovens, great quality. And then also a Wolf stove. Six burners and also this cooking part. And it looks like, let's see, yeah. The stove hood is hidden under this wooden cupboard, which is nice and matches through so you don't even notice it. Let's look at this oversized center island. So I like that the sink is here, which is nice when you're cleaning up at maybe after having guests over. Um, you can still socialize, still talk to them, which is nice. And let's see. Oh. These are awesome. These are um, pull out dishwasher drawers. So instead of having one big dishwasher, you can actually break it up into two separate loads and run one or run the other. 
And then I think this is what, oh, yep. It's a built-in microwave with an open and close button. I love these. It makes it really easy to deal with. You close it, do your thing, and, and yeah, pretty cool. Let's check out the pantry. Really spacious pantry over here, kind of hidden out of the way, which I really like. It makes it easy to get into. And then this door actually leads into the garage. Go ahead first. I think the light will turn right on for you. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. So I just want to make sure I show you the garage just so you get an idea. This is a really nice, a bit oversized two-car garage. Um, there's space on either side of the door for storage. You could put shelves. You could really put a lot of stuff in here plus your two cars, which is awesome. Let's go back into the main floor. All right, I love the floor plan here. It's really well thought out. Um, let's check out, there's a closet and a powder room on this level as well. Over here is a nice coat closet, hidden away, not in the entrance area, which I actually really like. And then a powder room on this floor. And then over here, there's actually a nest system. Uh, I'm sure most people know about the nest system. Really easy to use, you can do it from your phone. I love them, they're great. Awesome, so not only do they have a nest in the house, but the house actually comes with these two iPads that are on a launch, launch port, which charges the iPad, and on it is a control for smart home system. So what's cool about that is that you can lock the doors from here, you can turn the lights on from here, turn them off, play music. There's tons of different features, and it's so easy to use, and you just pop it right back on there and you're all good to go. That's the main floor. Let's check out the basement. Oh wow, look how cool this is. Under stair lighting. Can you see that? Oh, that's so cool. Really a nice touch. Okay, I'm excited for the basement. <laughs> this is amazing. This basement is definitely gonna speak for itself, I can already tell. So down here we have a bar area, sink, tons of cabinet space, a wine fridge, amazing. Huge TV here. I don't know why you need it because there's a movie theater down here, but it's really awesome. I love that they put greenery out here. It doesn't feel like you're in a basement. Tons of space you could do. They have a foosball table here. You could do a pool table. Really cool, and look at this. A temperature controlled wine room. Wow, very cool, very nicely done. All the wine you could ever want in one place. It's amazing. I am so excited about this room. If you can't tell what it is, it's a movie theater. Um, media rooms are always my favorite because it's easy to entertain, uh, tons of space for watching movies, sporting events, TV shows, whatever you may want. And the coolest part is that these chairs actually come with the house. So they're pretty, pretty dang comfortable. And oh yeah, okay, yep, they, uh, they're really comfortable. I could probably be here a while. The oh, tour. Yeah, the tour might be over here, Jared. You're gonna have to take over. <laughs> Just kidding. But this is a really cool part of the house. Um, to have this bonus room honestly makes it worth so much. And if we go back outside to the back part of the room, how cool this is. So you can turn the lights off with the touch of a button in the movie theater. And then this is the other control for smart home system. So everything's right on the iPad here. I don't want to give away the code, but you can control everything from this iPad and the same thing as above. You can take it off and throw it back on to charge and it's all ready to go. Anyway, back to the movie theater, the coolest part of down here. There's also a bar, which is awesome. There's actually, there's two. The one I showed you earlier and then one facing the movie theater. And you can watch from back here. If you turn off all these lights, you can see into there. So if you have guests over and you're watching a sporting game or a TV show premiere together, you have so much space to extend that back, which is awesome. You're gonna see my cameraman, Jared, no matter what. 
<laughs> so great gym. There are three bikes in here and plenty more room. Um, I love that they did walled mirrors all the way around. The coolest part though is actually that behind this wall of mirrors is all this storage space. How nice is that? You can put your sporting equipment, whatever you may have, and there's tons of room. And then when you're working out, you can just close these on up and you're good for your workout. Yeah, that's awesome. Really cool stuff. It's really spacious. This It's about, I would say it's about the size of a bedroom. It's pretty big and with the mirrors, obviously it makes it look a lot bigger. And then down here is also a bedroom. Really nice sized bedroom. Um, there's a queen size bed in here. I think you could actually fit a king. Would be a good, a good guest bedroom. And then there's an ensuite bathroom and I think the lights are automatic. Yep, didn't touch a thing. They just have neutral tones in all the bathrooms. And there's also a powder room down here. Kind of similar to the powder room on the main level. Has kind of this textured wall on one side that's kind of subtle and then a textured pop of white down here. So this basement is awesome. It has every, everything you can need and more. Let's go upstairs and check out the rest of the house. So right away when you get to the top of the stairs is this beautiful display case. I love that it's glass. And then it looks like, yep, lots of space down here as well. This is the first bedroom upstairs. Come take a look at the balcony. Very nice. And then this closet, really nice built-ins. And I believe this says a soft close. Yeah, look at that. That was, that was nice and easy. And then there's an ensuite bathroom. Once again, those same gray tones, which I really love. Um, and it's a shower and bath combination here. And this is the laundry room. I'm getting used to the lights automatically turning on in every room I walk into. It's gonna be a hard change when I get back home. But it has laundry hookups right here. Nice and easy, already set up a sink. I always love a hanging space. It just makes drying delicate clothes a lot easier. And then um, tons of cupboard space here. Oh, and it's, oh, what? There we go, <laughs> figure that out. A nice uh, push in cupboard. All right, let's take a look at the second bedroom upstairs. Really great size. I love the space sun coming in in the afternoon here, which is really nice. And there's a pool view outside of the window. Plus we have the ensuite bathroom over here. Same style as that other bedroom up here. Shower and tub combo. Same gray tones, but a little bit different. I love that the floor matches this decor in the shower as well. And the neutral tones always allow for that pop of color to stand out of your personal items. Always a big fan of that. We have a nice big walk-in closet, lights turned on again, love that. Um, tons of space, shelves all around, hanging space. Just pointing out another nest system, so there's a nest system on each floor. And look here, there's another launch port system right here. It's a control for smart home system, easy to access and change the lights, lock the doors, whatever you might need right here outside of the master bedroom. Let's take a look at the master bedroom. The size of this master is fantastic. This is actually, I think, a queen size bed. You could easily fit in a king or a California king size bed into here. And another feature I love about it is this fireplace. It's the same fireplace that's in the living space, that electric one that you can either have it turn on heat or not. Great to have in the master bedroom. And then another thing just to point out is all these air conditioning vents are linear. How nice is that? It gives that modern sleek look and uh, blends right into the ceiling. You don't even notice it. And now my favorite part I'm so excited to check this out. The walk-in master closet and bathroom. 
So here is the master closet. I love that these are open shelves and all of these are completely adjustable. So you can make it totally your own. And then a skylight on each side of this closet. Always a cool feature to have, lets in natural light and you don't have to worry about, sometimes closets feel dark and kind of stuffy. And then this side as well. This side is a little bit bigger, lots of room for finding your clothes and putting them on. And then into the bathroom, we have the fancy throne room. It's always nice to have a separate toilet. I know that's kind of some, some sort of smart toilet. And then come on in here, we have dual sinks. And then this great vanity area. Tons of cupboard space around. These are just push-ins and shelves, perfect for any products you might need, jewelry, uh, makeup, any of that great stuff. And then I always like to point out when there are skylights, this one is a really nice skylight. You can open, close it, and cover it with the touch of a button. And the buttons for that are right here, mounted on the wall so you can't lose them. Sometimes having a remote makes me nervous because I always lose it. <laughs> All right, so this is the wet room. You have your freestanding tub, great fixtures in here. They match the two rain showers. Whoa. Really nicely done. And there's also a linear drain. And then I love this bench. You can put shampoo, towels on it, makes it a lot easier. And then this is looking out to the front, to the street. And luckily they put in these beautiful push of a button curtains to block out so people can't see you if you don't want them to. <gasps> That's so cool. Wow, that was really cool. I didn't expect that at all. But now you have all the privacy you need in here, which is amazing and tons of space to do your showering and cleaning. And last but not least, let's take a look at the master balcony. This master balcony has a great view of the backyard, the pool, and of course, sunny and beautiful California. All right, so now we're gonna head outside. The backyard is always my favorite part of a house. Just to point out this indoor-outdoor flow right um, on the seam of these doors, which I love. Tons of patio space. Um, and then the pool behind me is awesome. I'll actually show you, there's a remote control to do a bunch of water features, spa and pool. And then if we head this way, there's a door to the kitchen right over here. This is the perfect place to put a dining table. You can cook inside and pop right outside and have a lovely meal. There's a cooking area here. This is a nice, cute little fridge outside. And then of course, this outdoor barbecue. It's huge, actually. And look at that, brand new, good to know. <laughs> and then behind these trees is actually pool equipment. I love that they disguise it behind the trees. It makes it a, a lot nicer to look at. Last but not least out here is this gorgeous fire pit. You can grab some s'mores with your friends, sit down, have some chats and drinks. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of 4029 Goodland Avenue in Studio City, California. I mean, look how gorgeous this house is. Brand new, modern, beautiful. I'm obsessed with this backyard and with the basement, obviously. Um, if you are interested in buying this house, feel free to contact me, reach out to me. My information is below in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to stop talking.